Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Wednesday, August 24th, 2022. Alright, let's get started. One across. On point. Hmm. Is it apt? Is this going to be an A? Sounds of relief. Yeah, I guess that could be Oz. Maybe this is apt. Place for cultural studies. And this is wordplay, so this is not going to be about some kind of anthropological museum. Hmm. I wonder if they're talking about bacterial cultures. Yeah, I have a feeling this is going to be some kind of lab. Biology lab? I think that's too long. Hmm. I really do think it's going to be about a lab of some kind. She blank? That could be she her. We think this is a T? Fair market price say. Hmm. Is it going to be true value? Yeah, let's finally put this P in here. Site for sponges. I guess if we're talking about the animals, that could be a reef. Nice, okay. Mild yellow cheese? I'm not going to know that one. Tiny, tiny. And this is wordplay, so I'm not sure what exactly the standard reading of this would be. Isn't this just going to be lil? Because it's abbreviated? Yeah, I think that has to be right. School with the mascot Mike the Tiger. <laughs> I have no idea. This is probably going to be an S, though. It'll be some kind of state university. Winning. Hmm. Uh, this could be like a charming smile, a winning smile, or it could be about winning a game. I don't know. Bloke. Is that going to be fella? So this is LSU. Okay. Um, hmm. Can we get this one? Interesting. Oh, it's going to be a petri dish. Okay, it wasn't a lab. It was a smaller container. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, let's take a look at our first grid spanner here. This has got to be part of the theme. It's super cozy and a breeze to clean. Hmm. Okay, um, this is an equivalent phrase. It's also in italics. I guess maybe that's just to indicate that it's part of the theme. This feels like it's something a real estate agent would say about a house or an apartment. Hmm. I don't know. I wonder if it's going to be an everyday phrase that kind of could have a second interpretation that sounds like it's talking about a house. Hmm. Let's get a little bit more help here. Consider that could be deem. Not flexible. I really want this to be stiff. Yeah. Is this going to be studio apartment? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, a lot of the time, cozy means small in real estate lingo. And it's easy to clean because it's small. Hmm, interesting. Lots and lots. Could that be slews? That's lots and lots of something. Something to live by. I really want this to be a tenant. That's like a belief. So this is Leo. Top of the ladder in brief. No, that should be CEO, right? So maybe this is SCADS instead. 1997 horror film with the tagline, when you can't breathe, you can't scream. <laughs> I think this is Anaconda. That was with JLo, right? Moves into position as troops. Uh, That's gotta be deploys. Yeah. A step up, perhaps. Is it going to be stare? That's very literally a step up. Noisy squabbles. Could that be rouse? So this is Clio. Let's hope that's an advertising award. Advertiser of the year award, e.g. Yeah, excellent. Comforting gesture. That's going to be a pat. Creator of Christopher Robin. That's A.A. A. Milne. Yeah, he did Winnie the Pooh. Take 10. Is that going to be break? Hmm. 
let's just confirm that if we can. Cubist Picasso. Yeah, that's Pablo. Baseball's all-time RBI leader. I got to imagine that's Hank Aaron. Very nice. Usual beginning. And this is wordplay, so this is not going to be about the typical beginning to a story or something. Maybe it's about the beginning to the word usual. Yeah, that could be a long U sound, right? Usual. That's very funny. Winning. Hey, this is winning again. We had winning down here. Oh, this is going to be a head. That's funny. And I guess this is going to be on top. Yeah, these are both kind of the same meaning of winning. That's funny. All right. I have a feeling we have another grid spanner that's about an apartment. Look at this. You can cancel that gym membership. <laughs> I guess it's a five floor walk up. Yeah, you're going to be getting plenty of exercise. Only a landlocked country in Southeast Asia. Is it Laos? I'm just guessing that based on that L. So this will be any, no one in particular. That's right. Says yes silently. That's got to be nods. Similes center. That'll be as a. Yeah, sly as a fox, something like that. Okay. You can't get lower than this. <laughs> That would be the nadir. Yeah, that would be the low point. Very nice. Symbol in the center of the Japanese flag. That's a big red sun. Zero. Is that going to be aunt? That's funny. We had that in our inbox zero puzzle from last week. Excellent. Okay. Painter's coat. Is that going to be gesso? Yeah, painters use gesso. Tuba sound. Hmm, is it wa? I kind of think tubas make an oompa sound. I guess it could be pa, is that right? Big name in laptops. I guess that could be acer. Is this a p? Part of pg. Yeah, that's parental guidance, right? Nice. Wow. Okay, so it's half of oompa. That's funny. Discretion. That could be tact. Yeah. Exist is R. Something usually found in brackets. Hmm. Um, I guess they're not talking about a nonverbal crossword clue. I'm not sure what they're referring to here. Let's see if we can make progress in the East. Low cut t shirt feature. Hmm. Uh, low cut. I guess they're not talking about a v neck. Hmm. Seal the deal. It feels like this could be a lot of things. Like the planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Uh, I would really want this to be gassy. <laughs> like they're gas giants, right? Is this not Gesso? Hmm. John M. Blank. Director of Crazy Rich Asians. I don't know his name. Cereal staple. Maybe that's an oat? Hmm. Okay, it's not gassy. Is it outer? I guess they're the outer planets of the solar system, too. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's right. I still don't know this. Practical thing. Hmm. It's not practical magic. I wonder if we can get this one form of attachment and this is wordplay so i don't think it's going to be about being attached to another person it's got to be something about an email attachment i would really want it to be pdfs hmm i don't know let's come back over here word on italian street signs Ooh, i don't know is it like ria I'm not sure what the word for street is in Italian. PM times. Oof, is it going to be afts? <laughs> it's an abbreviation of afternoons. That's not super pretty, although it does work with what we want here, I think. Is this an R? Anne of Green Gables Town. Ooh, I have not read this book. Hmm, yeah, I'm going to need a lot of help there. I wonder if we can get this next apartment. 
The space has endless possibilities. Hmm. Yeah, this is definitely like a cheerful real estate agent talking up their kind of crummy apartments. I don't know what this is going to be. It's not going to be floor. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Undecided. That could be torn. We're torn on some answers on this puzzle. Little bits. That should be iotas, I think. Hmm. Interesting. Usually found in brackets. I wonder if we can get the end of this in the slightest. That should be at all. Hawks? Hmm. Maybe this is about selling. It could be cells, right? You can hawk your wares. I guess this is a tax rate. Oh man, I'm in a higher tax bracket. That was super tricky. Okay, I think this has to be some kind of fixer upper, right? Um, it's not a real fixer upper. I don't know how it's gonna start, but that does help us over here. Eurasian range, that's gonna be the Urals, that's mountains. Plumber's joint, I guess, is it an L? I guess there could be an L joint. Hmm, this is not gonna be PDFs. Maybe it's a JPEG. We were kind of on the right track there. One time divorce capital of the US. Uh, it's looking like it's gonna be Reno. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Practical thing. Oh, I guess it could be a practical joke. There we go. Um, is this a swoop neck? I don't think I've ever heard of that. Seal the deal. Hmm. It seems like that has to be shake on it. Yeah. So this is woo? That does not look right. I think this has to be chew, and this will be a scoop neck. I haven't heard of that either, but yeah, this looks a lot better as John M. Chu. Okay, blank engineer. Uh, is this engineer? I think it is. Is it like city engineer? Oof, that's a lot of abbreviations. Gold standards, yeah, that's gonna be carrots. Array in an electronics store. Uh, I guess this is going to be TVs, so I guess this is a civil engineer. Yeah, that at least is a little less ugly than a city engineer. Okay, um, I have a feeling we know what this last revealer is going to be, right? We've said it a few times as we've been filling in our theme answers. Source of the euphemisms found in the clues for 17, 23, and 48 across. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be a real estate agent. A very chipper real estate agent. I wonder if that'll help us get the beginning of this one, where Gandalf declares, you shall not pass. Uh, that was the Mines of Moria, right? That was a great scene. Okay, cries of agreement. That has to be a men's, I think. Clothes that may come ripped. Well, that's gotta be jeans. Okay, so this is going to be a major fixer-upper, yeah. Eclipse to some. That could be taken as an omen. Like the planets Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. <laughs> well, this is a lot easier because we have its partner filled in already. These are the outer planets, so these are going to be the inner planets. India T region. That's going to be Assam. I've had some very good Assam teas. This is going to be Erm. An equivalent phrase for uh, I guess so. Um, hmm. Aaron Lee? Is that right? Is that the name of the town? Is this Rhea? I think it has to be. Well, I think that's going to have to be our best guess. Let's throw this R in there and see if that'll do it for us. Aw, oh, shucks. All right, well, I have a feeling our wrong square is right here. So maybe we have to think of a better letter here. Maybe it could be a V? Via? That sounds very plausible for an Italian road. And this could be Avon Lee. That sounds better for a town, too. Yeah, let's give a V a try here. All right, a Wednesday puzzle in 17 minutes. That's a nice and brisk time for a Wednesday puzzle. 
All right. Well, as someone who lived in New York City for a good percentage of their life, these real estate agent euphemisms are very familiar. This is great. I love that they got three grid spanning phrases that all have to do with apartments, studio apartment, five floor walk up and major fixer upper. Yeah, all of these euphemisms are very funny too. I think in exchange for all of these really nice grid spanners, we had to pay a little bit with a bunch of kind of smaller stuff in the center and around the edges. But yeah, these grid spanners are really nice, so I think it was worthwhile. And of course, I think the clue of the puzzle for me was definitely place for cultural studies for a petri dish. It's a very clever wordplay clue. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed apartment hunting with me during this Wednesday solve. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the marquee themed puzzle of the week, the Thursday. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.